is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Um, you know me. If you know me, you know me. If you know, you know. You know, so. How likely are you to recommend shopping from Amazon Fresh to your friends and family? She put 10. Very likely. Thank God for at Amazon Fresh, $4.99 unlimited delivery for the entire month for Prime members. I mean, I'm a Prime member, so but I'm not living in a shelter or on the street. So these are like the things that's like, who, if you have Prime, do you have Prime or you, did, did you just say that? For one, why, why are you lying about stupid stuff, being a pathological liar? And second of all, why do you have Prime? I know you use Amazon a lot, but it just shows you. If you can afford stuff every single month, even if it's five bucks a month, you need to start setting money aside so you could start doing what you need to do instead of sitting here buying stuff off Amazon. I think your family would rather you... Leave the groceries alone and do what you need to do to help yourself. Thank you so much, Danielle Day. Her and her new Converse shoes. I wonder if Xavier went. Yes, someone has asked about the leggings that I've been wearing. Um, $7.99, I believe. I will link them. They're from Amazon. I just keep, keep reordering. I ordered a pack of four, and then anytime one gets a hole, I reorder it. And um, I've just been wearing leggings because I do not want to buy any sort of pants. Oh my gosh, you don't wear jeans. We know that. Why do? You, why does your pants get so many holes in them? Um, that are more expensive than that until I get back to my goal size six. So I'm in an eight right now. Uh, some brands a nine, but uh, Topshop eight. So I'm trying to get to a six again, and then I'll start, you know, working on rebuilding my clothing selection. Yeah, because rebuilding your clothes selection is is it's definitely on top of the priority list right now. Botox and Givaderm to the tent, Porfa. What? 8, 14, 24, 6, 32 p.m. Are you saying you're going to take Botox and Givaderm to the tent? Oh, you can see Xavier's ear behind her. <laughs> I want solutions to this. I don't even want to know why this is going on. My curiosity is over with. I want solutions. I ask people, how long have you been here? It's just a long time, forever. These are not programs. These are holding facilities. What the fuck is going on? Where is my apartment, my income, oh my, my job? I have four children. Where are they? What is going on? Every single day, it's the same shit. Some drama first thing in the morning, grown-ups arguing with each other. These are dead-end spots. These are not programs conducive to getting out of here and getting into your own living situation. I'm asking them. She's so mad. They won't just give her what she wants. You don't, girl, it's life. Do you have any success stories? Nada. Yes. Nada. She always changed. She starts start trying to change her voice whenever she gets all irritated and pissed off. And it just, you could tell whenever she gets really fucking angry. Nada. Do you have any, any success stories? Nada. No success stories here. We don't want you to leave. Why, why would they want you to stay there, Heather? Why, the, why, would, why in the world do you think they want you to stay there? Especially you. They don't. They are not there to create the success story for you. You have to do the work. They're there for assistance and to, you know, be there so you have a roof over your head so you're not sleeping on the concrete at night. It doesn't matter what you're doing or what's going on. You're bitching about something. Like, can you start every day saying, like, what you're grateful for, maybe? When six people leave an ambulance cop cars or police escorts but nobody leaves to their own apartment that's a problem 
what are my qualifications? So let's talk about the fact that I can't even afford a bra for myself. I have three nursing bras that I've had since I gave birth to my son. Okay, here's an idea. You know, just, I mean, it may not be right, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Instead of buying Starbucks every fucking gosh damn day, why don't you sell some of your fucking food stamps and buy a damn bra? They're like sports bras. I'm a 37-year-old woman. They be thankful for a sports bra. They're more comfortable anyway. And I can't even afford a bra for myself, okay? A I have more than a bachelor's degree in college credit. I've taken medical assisting courses. I've completed three different personal training certifications. I've successfully grown and managed social media accounts into the 60, 70 thousands uh, with no assistance, all organic. I have successfully enrolled in different various services like Hootsuite and social media management applications for various reasons including social i'm sorry but do you know how silly she probably looks if people are walking past her she has her hand like her arm her long ass arm all the way up in the sky pointing down like you ain't gotta do all that social media growth management brick and mortar to online business conversion direct to consumer sales i've done in-person renewable energy sales I worked for 10 years in healthcare. I administrated the departments of endo. All right, we don't care. I wonder if she's doing it because <laughs> because the last video it looked like she was riding a horse or something. I'm sorry. That 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 made that made my night. It made my day every time I watched it. <laughs> and I really I really hope it made y'all laugh too because it is I love that part and rheumatology at Northwestern Hospital for doctors Carly Scamra, Linda Maletti, and Jolly Gopal, Renee Aronson, Walter Stoller, Susan Burke. We can keep going on all day. My, my recommendations are long and, and everlasting. <laughs> They're impressive. None of that matters if in the real world application I'm not being permitted to earn. What do I mean when I say not being permitted to earn? I mean for five years, I have been putting resumes everywhere. Everywhere. Target. Target. With all my experience. Starbucks. Starbucks. I'm, I'm willing to work as a fucking... Ah, there you go. I was about to say it, but I just had to wait a second and you was going to go ahead and degrade people who weren't like that. You know what? At least they work. At least they take initiative and at least they get a paycheck. Like, why you gotta say it like that? Starbucks? Target? First of all, I worked at Target whenever I was in my 20s, okay? My nephew is... What, 17, 18? He's working at Starbucks. And why you talking shit about working at Starbucks, bitch? You always going there to get coffee anyways. I would be kind of excited. It's so crazy how she thinks so many people are beneath her. Even whenever they have a job. Level barista. I'm 37 years old with four children and I'm not even getting any callbacks with that. For five years, five years ago, I was thrown into the street, 2037 West Roscoe from my home. Isn't it ironic that the courtroom in 2017 where I won custody was room 2037? There is no irony. Everything is intentional. So now five years, 2020, January, is when I was unlawfully thrown out of my own apartment at 2037 West Roscoe because you know who was running surveillance on some sort of weird sex schemes that whoever he was in bed with were profiting from and fraud schemes schemes with all sorts of utilities okay so you were probably a part of this part right i'm sorry but you can call it my strong intuition you could call it 
my conspiracy theorists, even though most of those come true, you could just call me batshit motherfucking crazy. But I truly believe something happened with Heather and Dylan, and she tried to fucking help Dylan and snitch on somebody. I feel like that's why she's so damn paranoid, is because she snitched on the wrong motherfucking person, and she did shit with Dylan that she knew she shouldn't have did, and they got their asses in fucking trouble with the wrong type of people. That's why I think that she's really fucking paranoid. <laughs> In my opinion. And he involved my family, my aunts, my Aunt Stacy, my Aunt Diane, my Aunt Ruby's address. All right, there you go. My address at 1827 West Kyler. Why would you say it? My address at 2037 West Roscoe. My address at 4505 West Foster. My address at the Patterson Street House, which I won't give. Now... Oh, you won't give that one. Who lives on Patterson? I'm sorry. Why, why would I... How can you sit here and look the other way for five years? There has been no progress made in my situation. None. Nada. None. Nada. Nothing has been done to assist me in any way. I have done everything to assist myself. Everything. Everything? Literally. Everything. What is it going to take? How many years are my children going to have to? And I've said this. I said this in 2000. And what was it? 19? 20 when all of this began i expected that i would probably be homeless for like maybe a few days you know at most i expected that you know i would always mm, you expected a, another john to come through weren't you i i figured something out i've been in my own apartment since i was 17 years old i've never been you know a street person in my life uh, I was watching some sort of documentary about smart cities and homelessness in the modern world. Singapore is one of the top five cities. They have no homeless people, none. And everyone has a home and a place to go. But here we are in the United States of America. Here we are. And we have all of these negative things to say about China, right? And about Asia in general, about... We want to bring our manufacturing home and don't manufacture overseas and all this stuff. Oh well, gosh, first of all, no one can afford to live here. Like, what is going on when a studio apartment costs $1,400 in Harwood Heights? What the hell is going on? And now we're talking about Harwood Heights, Harlem, and Ooh. what is that? Montrose? Fourteen hundred dollars for a studio apartment. Should be crazy. I have no idea what the fuck is going on in this country. When it I feel like it's kind of crazy. It's like, where have you been? Because it, yes, it is very expensive. Everything has gone up. Where have where has she been? She acts like this had just happened. I mean, get on board. Everyone else has to work more, work harder, do what they need to do, and you're just now realizing it's so expensive. No shit. A studio apartment costs fourteen hundred dollars. Okay, so now let put that put that to the side. Let's let's table that conversation for now, and let's talk more importantly about the fact that I have been one hundred percent upfront, forward, honest forthcoming, transparent, informative, organized, together, about every single thing that I have been forced to document and, you know, keep track of. No one is paying me for this. There are detectives making money. They get paid a salary. I don't. So we're in a country well, you're not a where detective, I, a woman, a lactating woman, mother of four... Ew, why? Stop. I... Hi, my name is Heather Gillespie. I am a lactating mother. And you? Do you, you do you lactate? Oh, you can't? I'm so sorry. That's that you should be ashamed of yourself. Children, been on her own since 17 years old, is being forced to surround herself with people, places, and things that do not serve her purpose. Disgusting people, places, and things. Troubled people, places, and things. Dramatic, stressful, dangerous people, places, and things. No people, one is giving me a things. paycheck for doing so. And they're extracting data, information, and, uh, you know, uh, emotion Emotional from me damage. on a daily basis for free. 
and there's nothing that I can do about it. That doesn't sound like the United States of America to me. It's of America that I was raised to believe I lived in. Let's go over the United States preamble, shall we? Oh, no. We, the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. Where? <laughs> Where? Provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty. I could just hear her in court and being arrested and being pulled away, and she starts, she starts yelling this. To ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. That's the Constitution that, that we learned when I was in eighth grade, the preamble. Preamble to the United States Constitution. Is that how we're living now? Targeting and abusing single mothers? What the fuck type of whack ass shit is this? Where are the men in this country who are allowing this shit to go on? Where are they? Where are they? Because everyone's so, oh, let's get a woman in office. Why? What? Why do you think that that would be helpful or beneficial in any way? This woman has been sitting in office for four years. Let's not talk about that. Because I don't know if I can hold my tongue. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I'm just really bored. She's really boring me. What has gotten better in the last four years? I, I challenge you to name... Nada. 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 Four things that have gotten better... And you're not allowed to lie. <laughs> because I don't think you can. I most certainly cannot. Let's talk about it. Even when I was going through Let's the, the thick of it, I still had a roof over my head. My children lived with me. I had meals on the table three times a day. I had my expendable income to take them to do fun things, have staycations, go to the beach. I only had a two-bedroom apartment, you know, and I didn't even have to pay a full price of rent during that time. But even through the thick of the abuse, I was way, way, way better off than I am now. Now, I'm in a position where I'm being manhandled, manhandled, manhandled. Okay, well, supposedly you were being manhandled before years ago. I don't... You, I don't think you can necessarily use that as an excuse, though. I uh, believe me, I I get it because I remember, I we were able to do. We always had extra money to go out to eat once a week or a couple of times a month, or I'm able to get you know a manicure, pedicure, or we just we would have extra money to go and do things with the girls and. Now, it's we're barely making it by paycheck to paycheck. It sucks. Believe, I've, believe me, I've noticed we were doing better than we are now, unfortunately, financially. But at the same time, we didn't stop working. You have to keep up. And you got, it sucks. It, it sucks. Believe me, it sucks. You have to do what you need to do to pay your bills and take care of your kids. That's all it is. By the law or whomever thinks that they're in charge this week, is it a smart city? Is it an automated process of AI? Is it an integrated effort? Are we puppets this week, marionettes? Are we putting on a show? Who's subscribing to this experience, right? If you know, you know. I'm sick of this shit. I've been sick of this shit. You know, I had a lifestyle where I was having spa services regularly. <laughs> My children were having manicures and pedicures with me. That's funny. We, had, they, we each had our own bed. The kids each had a twin size bed. I had a queen size bed. They had all their toys, their electronics, their food. And all I had to do to continue that lifestyle was allow myself to be sexually assaulted. When I finally called the domestic abuse hotline and, and the sexual um, trafficking hotline for assistance in 2019, that's when everything crumbled. So if I basically what we're teaching in the United States of America is a society of if you're quiet while you're being abused, 
you'll be rewarded. But if you're loud while you're being abused, we'll fuck you over. That's what it sounds like to me. That's that's what it feels like to me. I'm not in the military. I am a civilian of this country. Why does the military Heather have Gillespie, anything to do with it? Civilian. I have been manhandled for four going on five years. Oh. My children lived with me from the moment they were born the all the way till 2020. And over, and over and over and over again. It's unlawfully thrown into the street like basura. Basura! Thrown into the street unlawfully, unconstitutionally. My car, a Cadillac CTS, was stolen from me. First, it was mechanically sabotaged what? so that it would break down in Valdosta, Georgia. And then it was stolen Valdosta. from me and sold on the black market at auction. You couldn't Valdosta even get this police right. are refusing to file a police report about it and saying that it's a oh civil my matter. Gosh, girl. <laughs> Nothing about this is civil. Stalking, it's not civil. Harassment, it's She's not. getting so mad. Like, I'm so curious whenever she spirals like this. I still haven't figured out yet if it's because she took something or she needs to take something. Or both. You know what I'm saying? civil being attacked with a and bludgeoned with a tire iron that's not civil these are all criminal matters but i'm just supposed to just you know curl up in my bunk bed with my six roommates oh, in a, a tiny little room and try not to piss anyone off from pumping breast milk stop yelling i feel so sorry for those roommates of hers I would, it's just interesting. I'm just curious how Heather is around, uh, like, other people, you know, whenever she doesn't know the camera is on her. Because pumping breast milk for my infant son is a reason for a grown-ass woman to get angry, right? They're trapping me with a bunch of emotionally unevolved and emotionally incapable, which means that these people have been so drained emotionally that they cannot even stand to be around themselves. And that's what I have to look forward to each day. And then there's Xavier. <laughs> and there's Xavier. Did he just walk past her? Where's he at? They are so weird. If me and my man ever ended up homeless, like, bitch, you gonna be by my side. What, what are y'all, like, it's so weird. It's like, we can't be seen with each other. It's like he has to stay close to keep an eye on, but he can't be too close. What are you doing? <laughs> he did go back. Where the fuck is he going? Is that someone's house or is that a store or restaurant? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's what I ask y'all all the time. Get down from there. You do not live there. Uh-uh. Xavier, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? What were you doing up there? I asked if I had a paper clip. That's not a business. Did he just say I asked him if he... <laughs> if they had a paper clip? Why are you doing that? What were you doing up there? I asked if I had a paper clip. That's not a business. It's a laundry. He said that he was asking if they had a paper clip. <laughs> she said that's not a business. And he said uh, they do laundry. <laughs> you know? You know? Now let's talk about smart cities. Singapore. Singapore. They have no homeless people. None. But we're in Chicago. <laughs> Chicago of the United States of Illinois, of, of America in <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> I was about to say it, but then she fucked me up and oh my gosh. We're in Chicago. <laughs> Chicago of the United States of Illinois, of, of America <laughs> in <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> Illinois, Chicago. United States of America, USA. Same thing, you know. Chicago, Illinois. Okay, girl. 
Illinois, Chicago. Shut the fuck up. And we have homeless people all over the place. All over the fucking place. It's like she fucked up and she had to, like... I don't understand it. I don't know what the goal is. I don't know what the end game is. I am in a position where I'm, I'm so puppeteered at this exact moment that I have no... I cannot say yes and I cannot say no. I have to just keep taking one step in whatever direction they allow. It's fucked up. Fucked up. This is the United States of America in 2024. You know, someday, all this shit. I keep talking to you people about Time Machine. You can delete my recordings. You know, you can archive them. Archive them? But the shit (laughs) will be restored someday. All it takes is the right person having interest. There's an app available to everyone called Time Machine. Apple products have been hosting Time Machine as an app for like 10 years, 15 years, maybe longer. Mm. That means that you can restore a cloud or a physical... Oh my gosh, fucking restore your life. ...physical device to a time period from before, even if it's already been deleted. So even if you've gone out of your way to erase a bunch of shit, all you need is this very basic technology and boom, boom. <laughs> you're, in a, you're in a space where you have access to your 2007 life or your 2017 life or your 2022 life or like you say. Lo que sea. Whatever you want. You can have so, like. Maybe not right now in this exact moment. Today will I be vindicated, but I promise I will be. I promise I will be. Um, with regards to applications, we've done this same fucking tired ass cycle. Ah, this shit is so unoriginal and lame stale as fuck like i said stale as fuck she's so mad can you please put the camera like you're not gonna like just show your face and try to keep it steady can you turn around so you can see where we're walking i'm getting like really dizzy watching the buildings and the skies and it's just going crazy i to put you outside in a tent if you don't buy- if i don't what Say it again. Oh, I just see. <gasps> Do y'all see the smile face? Now it looks like a baby. Shush. Okay, bitch. I've already been in a tent. The fuck? <laughs> what are you talking I'm about? I'm so sick of these motherfuckers. I have to be grateful for a shower. I'm not a fucking prisoner. I haven't killed anyone. I'm a mother. I am a lactating woman. I am a lactating woman. Can you please stop saying that word? I have never, ever introduced... I never told myself, yeah, I'm a mom. Yeah, oh, I'm a lactator too. Boy, do I lactate. Like, what the fuck? Stop. I'm grateful. I am very thankful and grateful that I get to take a shower every day. That my kids get to take a bath every single day. I'm grateful for water in my house i'm thankful for my vehicle and gas to take them to school like what this is this is why you have nothing is because you're not grateful for nothing with four children like who are you yelling at and you know it seems like the more cracked out these people are the more (laughs) access to resources they get you know what's so funny is I wonder if she keeps the same fucking big energy whenever she fucking sees Oh, you're a drug addict with a baby? <laughs> She's so mad. Hey, no problem. You and your baby will put you both in a special place and... Per- like, girl, have you ever said any of this stuff in front of those girls? Do it. See what happens. Like, I, I don't think she has. That's why she's lashing out and taking it out on us. Because she, she quiet. She won't say nothing to their faces. But she's going to tap my ass shit behind their backs. Stale as fuck, like I said. They threaten to put you outside in a tent if you don't bow down. Okay, bitch, I've already been in a tent. The fuck? 
I'm so sick of these motherfuckers. I have to be grateful for a shower. I'm not a fucking prisoner. I haven't killed anyone. I'm a mother. I am a lactating woman with four children. Four children. And you know, it seems like the more cracked out these people are, the more access to resources they get. Oh, you're a drug addict with a baby? No problem. You and your baby will put you both in a special place and protect you. It'll be fine. But someone like myself, who didn't succumb to the pressures of, you know, covering up my pain, treating my pain, managing my pain with hard street drugs. Well, I'm a... Stop it. You were smoking lace weed and you were freaking hitting the can and that's it that's all that's all that's all we even know about that's literally the only ones we know about because we heard it and we saw it god knows only he knows what you did well and maybe the doc well not even the doctors they probably don't even know everything you did either failure to both the drug people and the normal functioning citizens Now I can't be accepted by either demographic because if you're a normal functioning citizen, you should never be living in a tent. Shame on you. You should be humiliated with yourself. And if you're a drug person, oh, well, you think you're better than us because you didn't do drugs while you were outside in the tent? So I fit nowhere. There's a demographic of me running around in black from head to toe. Girl, you better stop. You know how many people I see walking around wearing black everything? Don't, don't. Well, we have white shoes on today. <laughs> yeah, you got to wear your new white Converse. They're kind of, they're, they're, they're cute. They are cute. I wonder how she got them. Wondering where the fuck we fit. Because we haven't been able to find a spot yet. Actually, that's wrong. All of us have found a spot where we fit. It's in our own home, minding our own business. But for some reason, there are other people who are profiting from keeping us in this marginalized and oppressed category. You're so loud. They won't identify themselves because they are cowards, but they exist. They exist. They be there. They be there. And I'm fucking sick of it. I want them all to go and grab their own children. Look at their children in the eye. Their privileged little sons and daughters that they have been taking care of like fine china what? since the day. Fine china? This... That clearly just sums up everything. You think people treat fine china better than they treat kids? I want them all to go and grab their own children. Look at their children in the eye. Their privileged little sons and daughters that they have been taking care of like fine china since the day they were born. The way we all want to take care of our children. We all love our children. We- oh, yeah. No. Obviously, no. No. Bullshit. Not, not all of us fucking want to. You're one of the ones who don't want to. We have an innate biological response to love our children, period. Circumstances make us different. Environments make us different. Biologically. No, no, no. Biologically, I don't, no. I would love to know this because it's always like the piece of shit moms who are not moms always have the most kids. And the kids are never together. The kids are with their dads or they're with... And I'm, and I'm, I'm talking about Heather and, and, and other people in general. They're just spread out everywhere in the family. And some of them in fucking CPS. I don't understand why... And I, I, I get the... I, I understand people, unfortunately, fall into the drug addiction or any type of addiction. And it may... I've heard stories and it may take you away from your kid but why does it take so long for you to go back to your kids because i've heard mostly great stories where somehow at some point a light bulb you know a light bulb goes off and it's just epiphany and they're all of a sudden realize what the hell am i doing and then they get their shit together and then you they're reunited with their kids I mean, is it, is it literally, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is just a mental health issue. We all have that desire. So 
So every single person who looks the other way while everyone suffers, tucks their little Sally into bed at night into her king Don't you talk about Sally. Don't talk about Sally, that girl. Nice bed with a duvet and the air temperature at a crisp 72. Like, ooh, 72. I don't know. That's a little too high for me at night. I mean, there's so many things she don't she don't like. Like she's hated on, like just the flowers, the dolphin, now little Sally, in her bed. Like what the fudge? Because she likes it that way, and her little puppy at the foot of her bed, and her money in her bank account, and how about Sally goes to war? What? Well, she's drafted next. Cause I you sound fudging crazy right now. Like, I hope that the caseworker has already seen this. Because that statement, is it that, how about little Sally goes to war? You were talking about a little girl who her parents are taking care of like they're supposed to. And you're mad at the little girl talking about she needs to go to war? I'm fucking tired of this shit. I'm you're, sick of being out here. You're dangerous. If it's, not, if it's not too bad, too inhumane, too abusive for me to live like this, let Sally live like this. Let Sally be the one who says that this is acceptable for five fucking... Dude, I like fucking for real want to fight you right now because you're actually talking about a little girl. Like, it, it's an imaginary girl, but it's weird. And it makes me so mad. Like, who the fuck talks about a little girl like that? Like, you, that don't even exist. You don't even know her. And I'm getting mad at you for talking. Like, if you're going to talk about this imaginary little girl like this, talking about her going to war and how you're so tired, like, like you going to do something to her? Imagine what you would do to any, any other child, whether it be your own. Whenever you're not so happy, Heather, and you're irritated years let sally come out here for five years and let sally make the judgment call because i am owed a check more than a check i don't know how the hell life goes from being controlled and manipulated by members of actual a detective let's bring him up again david shepherd anyone want to google his name no because he's really. up for election for the republican party he has a seat on the senate for the republican party david shepherd Meanwhile, he was on a recorded line sexually harassing me. Internal affairs had to get involved and remove him from his position. All of this is on file. All of it. Yet the truth doesn't seem to be helping me in any way. So you people know that law enforcement, a detective, not street level law enforcement, a detective pulled me out of a vehicle where I was driving with my mother-in-law with no criminal record took me to a black hole site to interrogate me. I told him I had no information from him and he said, you're gonna continue to hang out with this group of people and pushed over a box of evidence into my face and said, this is so-and-so, this is so-and-so, this is so-and-so, I know that you know them, you're gonna continue. See, this is another reason why I think her and Dylan snitched on somebody or people that really wasn't messing around yeah, call me on a daily basis give me information about this box of people and i said no no i'm not i have three kids i have four now but i had three at the now what she's saying right now no no i'm not i have three kids i don't believe that time i said i'm not gonna do that sir and do you know what that man said if you love your kids you are because if you're not i'll be back to take them from you I wasn't even six months out of my position at Northwestern Hospital. See, once she left the hospital, I bet you that's exactly whenever shit went, well, to shit. <laughs> because I don't, what did, what, did, what did she say? Why did she say she left the hospital? Because she wasn't, I think she said she left because she was doing so much work, but wasn't getting paid enough for it. And it's like, aren't you, don't you know you're supposed to, like, not quit a job until you have another job? But it, obviously, it has to be around the same time she met Dylan and then started doing the other stuff.
Which is sad. You had a really you had a you had a good job in a hospital and then you quit that. Probably in my opinion, maybe dabbling in drugs and hanging out with the wrong people and then you're selling yourself and doing other stuff to to make money and make ends meet and then you don't want to have a regular job i was probably six weeks out of my position at northwestern hospital i'm an administrative professional with three children single mother newly separated from the father of my of my daughter alexis and this detective is telling me, you're going to go and you're going to involve yourself in this shit. And if you don't, I'm going to take your kids from you. And I did everything that they told me to do for four and a half years. And when it was supposed to be over and I was supposed to be getting my own house and my kids and I moved to safety, they separated me from my children and threw me into the fucking street with no money and nowhere to go. I slept in my car until they stole it from me and sold it on auction. Slept in my car until they stole it from me and sold it on auction. And that is the truth. And we're living in an America that thinks that that is acceptable. That is fucked up. It's fucked up. And my name is Heather Gillespie and I'll go on any stand in front of any judge and testify under oath to that shit because that shit is real. This right here is a prenatal vitamin. Prenatal. And that right there, it says for relactating women. Did you watch my video? I don't know why you're talking like that, but it's, it ain't cute on you. And we don't know. You don't even need, need to bother with the prenatal vitamins, in my opinion. And also... We don't care. We know what it is. We was looking at the fucking date, bitch. And you still didn't show it. This is what I say. I must take this for the quality of my milk because I am a mother, not a street. This right here is a prenatal vitamin. Prenatal. And that right there, it says for relactating women. This is what I say. I must take this for the quality of my milk because I am a mother, not a street person. Well, dang, she's eating a bowl of noodles or something. 6.03 p.m. Is she in Whole Foods again? Dude, someone, one of y'all said that Starbucks takes EBT, like food stamps. Is, is that for real? I just thought about that. Like, how is she eating all these this food? Like, I, I... That's just crazy to me. I've never been to this place, so I don't understand. Is it a grocery store, but they have, like, a cafeteria or somewhere where you can sit down and eat? I'm also confused. Is she on the phone with this dude? I'm sorry. With her son? Or... Is she just calling and he's not picking up? Because I know she called her oldest, too. And I can't tell if they picked up or if she was just calling them. Okay, now here's the oldest. Okay, I have a Google Pixel. So, it doesn't... I don't... I don't have, like, FaceTime or whatever. But I know, like, whenever I do WhatsApp or other... Usually, whenever they pick... Usually, whenever they pick up, their camera will be on or they could turn their camera off. If it's their default picture, then they either didn't pick up or it's just ringing. Or maybe they hid the camera. I don't know. I don't know. But I just think it's so weird that she's sitting here trying to call them and taking a screenshot of it. Like, that's so, like, almost... I get it, but at the same time, it's, like, just stupid petty. Like, you're showing proof that you called the kids... I mean, yes, that's nice, but it gets to a point where they're old enough to know, look, if you ain't going to get right, I don't want you to call. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying that's, that's how they feel, but I can completely understand where once you get to a certain age or gone through so much, it doesn't matter if it's your mama, your daddy, or who the fuck it is, but you get to a point where it's like, you know what? I don't even want to talk to you. Like, I've, you've had so many opportunities. 
you're suffocating me. You're toxic. I wonder if she ever thought about that. Like, what is it? What does she get? Does she buy, like, a meal? A ready-to-go meal? And then just microwaved it there and ate it? I'm so nosy. She doesn't even look happy. I wonder if she got bad news or something. Or if she's... Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Um, August 15th, 2024, 2.04 p.m. Did you seriously just make that video so you could huff and puff real loud? A smart society harnesses digital technology strategically deployed by governments to achieve three crucial objective objectives. Enhancing citizens' well-being, fostering economic growth, and strengthening institutions. To reform the largest industries, we must focus on simple technological improvements to governance and quality control. Healthcare should prioritize prevention and self-care with at-home stress monitoring and covered basic grooming luxuries like massage and mani-pedi. The justice system must provide vindication for the wrongfully accused and support recovery. Families can replace DCFS with video monitored clinics and housing needs should be evaluated in ERs. Cars should auto-adapt to speeds, eliminating tickets. I can't. 